I'm sure the OG Barcelona fans have heard these two names, Trifon Ivanov and Christos Storichkov. Today, I'm going to be talking a bit more about them. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, Christos Storichkov or Trifon Ivanov or, Bulgari or the um, Barcelona team in general. But today, we're going to be talking about the golden age of Bulgarian football, the, the World Cup of 1994 USA. To get a little bit of an introduction on the team in general and why it is so important of 1994, we first gotta look at the current Bulgarian national team. These days, almost nobody cares about Bulgarian football, and the lack of funding is also one of the reasons as to why we are currently ranked 75th in the world. Considering also that almost every single player in the national team plays in the Bulgarian league and not the European league. In fact, of our national team, only two players play in the professional European leagues. Here they are. These days, Bulgaria has an incredibly small amount of players who play in the professional European leagues. These include names such as Nikola Eliev, who currently is 23 years old and plays for Inter, Valentin Antonov, who plays for Monza, Italy, plays in Serie A, both of these play in Serie A, and Petko Christov, who plays in Venezia, who play in Serie B, which means that we only have three players who play in Serie in the Italian league, and unfortunately, these are also our only players who play in the professional European leagues. We also have to mention that the current Bulgarian chief of the Bulgarian Football Union has almost no interest in funding the Bulgarian national team or recruiting more players and training them so that they can play in European leagues, so that they can train more, and then they can come back to Bulgaria with an even stronger team. Because 75th in the world is pretty high considering our highest was in June 1996 when Bulgaria was ranked 8th in the world. Yeah, eight. Do you know who is on eighth place right now? Currently eighth in the world are Italy. And about 30 years ago, we used to be in that position. So yeah, you can kind of understand why Bulgaria is, well, in a bad situation right now. Now that we've mentioned the present, I think now we have to mention the past and the reason why I'm making this video. And of course, that is the 1994 World Cup of the USA. The summer that almost every Bulgarian remembers or knows about. First of all, we gotta take into account that Bulgaria has an incredibly, well, let's just say, bad reputation when it comes to football and pretty much everything around the world. As, as when the team went to America, almost everybody in Bulgaria had low expe expectations that they would even pass the group stage, since ever since then, Bulgaria has not even qualified for a knockout, for a knockout stage. Yeah, ever since 1994. That's what, 16 World Cups, I think? I, I don't know. I'll say somewhere here how many cups there are. So now that you pretty much know why people have bad expectations, I think it's time I introduce you to the players who were noticeable on the terrain that summer in 1994. Players include Trifon Ivanov, Mekhi Resky Pace, Emil Kostodinov, Christo Stoichkov, Jordan Lechkov, Plamen Nikol, Nasko Sirakov, Dimo Bakalov, uh, Pet Peter Kupchev, Tsanko Tsvetanov, Ilyan Kiryakov, uh, and Dimo Berbatov, who were. Uh, not in the starting 11, actually uh, some of them were in the starting 11, I can't tell you exactly which ones, but uh, Hristo Stoichkov and Trifon Ivanov were of the starting 11, I can tell you that. Dimitar Barbatov was actually not, I believe, in the starting 11, correct me here, editor, and uh, yeah. So now that you also know these, the players, I think it's time the cup actually begins. So the first games were the knockout stages, and Bulgaria immediately lost to Nigeria 2 to nothing, as it seemed that this bad adrenaline would continue to, not adrenaline, but yeah, the bad energy and the bad luck would continue throughout the World Cup. However, however, in this game, Bulgaria stunned the world by beating their neighbors Greece 4 to nothing. Amongst the scorers were Jordan Lechkov and Christos Stoichkov. What's important about this game is that it was the first time Bulgaria ever won a World Cup game, and 4 to nothing is a significantly good start if you ask me. The next game was the decider, whether Bulgaria would continue with the bad luck of losing the World Cup or, for the first time ever, making it to the knockout stages. And the world was shocked when Bulgaria beat the champions of the world, Argentina, 2 to nothing, disqualifying Argentina from the World Cup and Bulgaria advancing to the knockout stages. Here come the knockout stages. Bulgaria and Mexico were in a stalemate until of an intense penalty shootout where Bulgaria managed to beat Mexico with a single goal scored by Jordan Lechkov. What a legend. The next game was against the world champions Germany, and although expectations were low, the team still pursued to carry out a win. 
And even though Germany was the first one to score, leading, you know, leading, putting them in the lead, Bulgaria pursued two goals after that, giving the win to Bulgaria for a 2-1 win. And even though Bulgaria had been cheering all this time, people were out on the streets, blasting all the party horns, making parties, you know, that they are at the semi-finals now. Every good story, unfortunately, comes to an end eventually. The semi-finals were the end for the Bulgarian journey, when the, when the weak spot of Bulgaria, the Italian national Roberto Baggio, destroyed the Bulgarians, scoring two goals for Italy and leaving Bulgaria with, and leaving Bulgaria with only one goal scored by a penalty by Hristo Stoichkov, which unfortunately was not enough to save them from the situation that they got themselves in. After losing in the semifinals, Bulgaria played Sweden for third place and unfortunately lost 4 0, leaving Bulgaria in fourth place. Which, even though it's not third, this is the highest ranking Bulgaria has ever gotten in a World Cup, considering almost every single year we don't even make it out, we don't make it to the knockout stages. In fact, fun thing, we have not made it to a knockout stage ever since then. Ever since. And we've not even got like two wins in a group stage which is kind of sad. This year, Lithuania beat us 1-3, of three, which was the end of it. However, Bulgaria did not leave with empty hands, or some of them did not leave. Hristo Stoichkov left the USA with the Golden Boot Award, which is one, and he is one of the only players in Bulgaria, if not the only player in Bulgaria, who has this award, which is something really big, considering Stoichkov is, well, he played for big teams such as Barcelona, and Greek teams and pretty much every in, he's played for pretty strong teams and the Golden Boot Award is something not many players have and considering we have a player with the Golden Boot Award is something we should really take advantage of. Dimitri Berbatov who was also in the 1994 World Cup actually played until 2009 for Manchester United when he eventually retired. Unfortunately even though some of these players are not with us anymore their legacy continues and Bulgaria will always remember that summer of 1994, the summer which made everybody's summer, and everybody of course said it was the best summer of their lives, and nobody, nobody in Bulgaria, even the people who weren't born back then, can feel what their parents and relatives, including me, felt in that beautiful summer of 1994. The win against Germany, Argentina, and Mexico. All of them football giants. Even if we couldn't beat Italy, that's okay. Because in the end, what matters is that Bulgaria didn't leave empty handed. As I said, the Golden Boot Award is something not many players have. And I wish for the Bulgarian football generation, which is the, which is the current generation, the current football union, to care a little bit more about the Bulgarian national team. Not just sending them to the World Cup with absolutely no expectations, not knowing why they're there, but send them there to play, to understand that it's not just about playing or just winning, it's about having fun at the game. If you win, that's really nice. You have to defeat your opponent. We have to recreate that beautiful moment of 1994. The next Stoichkov, Kirill Despotov, I believe in you. I believe in you. You're going to be the next Stoichkov, I can tell you that. Despotov is currently the most expensive Bulgarian player at over 3 million euros, and if and if he ever reaches what Stoichkov was worth, which is 40 million euros, then definitely we will see a revive of his legacy. For now, bye-bye.